Okay, this is fun. Watching ten ball. That's good. We we were expecting, you know, three days of one pocket with Efren Reyes, and now we get to see a little rotation. It's kind of nice to mix things up. So good luck to Yamal Usi, and hello to all of his friends in Morocco watching. Hello to all of you watching. This will be a race to nine. It's ten ball, and it is, so far, all I know, one race. So let's see how this works out for uh, Yamal. First break to Efren Reyes. <laughs> POB Pool, sponsored by Kamui Tips and Chalk, gloves, and other products. We want to thank them for working with POV Pool. We're at Hard Times Billiards, 17460 Bellflower Boulevard. Come on down. Anytime. Weekly tournaments, monthly tournaments, always a little action here at Hard Times. Efren's got him hooked on the one ball. Off of the break. Looks like a, it was a dry break. Looks like he wants to kick around the four. Get shape for the two ball. Very close, but he didn't get there. This could be the first big lesson for Yamal is to not leave an open table for Efren Reyes. He actually could have played a pretty good safety, like a kick and stick on the one ball. And he could have hidden behind the four. And Efren just gets perfect shape on this eight ball. Game one, Efren Reyes.
Not a bad safety. Efren stuck behind the seven. He's gonna spin kick this. May come off the side of the one. He almost made it. He hit it pretty solid. He kicked that to make it. Yamal's looking for the bridge. <laughs> Yamal, you might notice his stroke. He's more of a snooker player. He's got a very rigid stance and stays very still when he shoots and uh, here we go again I tell you what this is going to be a painful experience for Yamal uh oh <laughs> uh, hey guys this is why Efren doesn't play 10 ball very well anymore is what he says. Too demanding, he says the game is. Looks like he's playing a zigzag two rail kick. He missed. So. Yamal gets his first ball in hand. Better hope for a roll here. Yeah, he's gonna get one. Most players these days, they go right for the jump cue. Straight for the Mahdi carry. Or for the tiger wings. Efren, I don't think I've ever seen him use a jump cue. Hmm. 
I gotta tell you guys, Efren took a nap earlier today in the bleachers. He did like everybody else does here at Hard Times Billiards. And he took a nap in the bleachers. with that slip stroke. I just don't know how he does it, man. I try it, and I just... There's times when I just drop the cue. Sorry about that, guys. It's 2-0 in a race to nine. Another dry break. Not much of a shot here. Uh, I don't know. Let's take another, another angle at it. Oh, the one looks like it does pass the 10. I don't know if he's going to go for it or if he's... What's he calling? He's calling the 10? Ooh. Whoa! What a shot by Yamal Lucy. Lucy, the Moroccan marauder. Arr. Yeah, I bet you. If Yamal happens to win this race, he'll flip the coin again. But if he loses, I'm not so sure. This is just charity action, guys. $100 to play Efren Reyes. $100 <laughs> for Efren to play Yamal. <laughs> this is just charity for Yamal. I talked to little Al Romero earlier today. He said, man, I'd be insulted to play for a hundred dollars if I was Efren. Efren's like me. He just wants to stir up the action. That's how we roll. Yeah. We might get Yamal on the uh, on the John French team. <laughs> Very nice shot. 
Uh, you guys need to know that these pockets are pretty small. They're about three and seven eighths inches. Two-way shot. Missed completely. Oh, boy. By the way, Yamal is playing Efren even. This is call pocket. Basically, this is, you know, international 10 ball rules, except they're breaking from anywhere they want. I see Efren's got the Metro Billiards t-shirt on. Shout out to those guys at Metro, Mike Ramos and Carson, where you can go play their Tuesday tournaments. Nice one, Effie. like the six is down. <gasps> what did he just call? Oh, that's right. Yeah. These rules... Jamal made him made him shoot it. He played a push. We saw a pretty good one pocket match last night with Efren. Yeah, Efren ended up one set in the money against uh, George Teachea. 
Um, and then he ended up three sets up on John Lassick. So all in all, if he made 400 bucks yesterday, they don't charge him time here. Pressure shot for y Yamal. That's that's a sellout, man. I mean, you basically might as well rake the balls and <laughs> go to the next rack. <laughs> Poor guy. But you know what? You got to hand it to him. He's he's getting the experience of a lifetime, and you really have to thank Efren Reyes. We're hoping to see. If uh, Frank the Barber or F Foch Garcia will step up and play Efren after this, they'll play one pocket if that happens. If Jesse Gilbert were here, I'm sure he'd get a game. If you ever bump into me and you'd like to get a sample of Czechio, I actually don't have any on me right now, but I usually do, hit me up and uh, we'll take care of you. Okay? Okay. Boosties here. Oh, and by the way, there's an action match happening, another action match happening today between Melinda Wang and Dante and Carnation. They're going to play nine ball, I think, race to 16 for $600. They're here. Supposed to start, I think, at 8 o'clock. Not 100% on that. But I'm guessing it'll be on a table that I can't... I can't reach with the cameras. Efren playing left-handed. Such a sweet shot. the devil. Melinda's here. She just, just walked in. She's just drinking a cup of coffee. Man, I need a cup of, cup of ooh, another cup of coffee. Ray is going to 
another year at the Derby City Classic. Be sure to check out the live stream on AccuStats. Go to www.accu-stats. A-C-C-U-S-T-A-T-S dot com. Why? Well, they're streaming it. Sheesh. Do I have to explain everything? I'm having fun. It's been a long four days here at Hard Times. Thank you, Tony Russell and Russell Custom Cues. Oh, by the way, today is the last day. If you want to get the early bird live stream, you know what, I should. I should. I'm going to do Pat Fleming and AccuStats a solid here. But in the future, I should get paid for this. If you want me to continue promoting your pay-per-view events, sheesh, give me a free pass, maybe. I like that. I like that action. Anyway, today's the last day. You pick up the early bird special for the live streaming of the Derby City Classic happening at the Horseshoe in Indiana. I believe it's nine continuous days of streaming for something like $70. But if you act now, you'll get it for 70. If you act later, um, I think it's like 94. Shot. Nice out. <laughs> I bet Yamal's stomach is turning right now. Bink. Yeah, looks like Efren is warming up, isn't he? Interesting shot. Uh, he's not hooking Efren, but he's kind of forcing his hand, making him play a shot. But that's that's the shot I'd have played. Probably not as good. <laughs> it would appear that Efren has woken up from his nap. Very nice hit, Yamal. You need you need more speed. You got it. Nice shot, kid. Nice shot. Do it for Morocco. 
Efren says, I don't know where is Morocco. Thanks to 12 Squared for your little donation to POV Pool. Thank you very much. Every little bit helps. We love you out there. And I'm going to remind you folks once again not to listen to the charlatans <laughs> that tell you that we are raping the industry because we're using Ustream. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous nonsense, nonsense I've heard in a long time. Back to our show. An opening. Oh man. Nine covers the five. Come on, kid. You can do this. Oh, crafty. He's looking at the 310. Well, you better, you better manufacture it. Crafty. All right. Bear down, buddy. Yeah, you better bear down. <gasps> Hiya! Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Efren's gonna have have to hit this ball. Oh, you know what he might do? He might billiard this off the seven. It's it's doable. It's not easy. He might billiard it off the seven, and then the three comes rail first and takes the 10 down. Or he plays this extremely thin. No. He says, forget about it, I'm hiding. I'm hiding from this noise. What's happening here? He's oh, he's getting advice. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He probably is. He's probably saying, "How should I hit this man?" <laughs> Hard Times Billiards in Sacramento is getting new carpeting. I want to give those guys a shout out. Karen Markoulis and Mike Markoulis, Brian Laflamme. You guys run a good show out there. Keep up the good work. New carpeting. I'm kind of missing it up there in Northern California.
And the breakout. A little close to his work. to the side or to the corner but he's playing it to the side maybe the bank I don't know where he called he's playing it to the side man he's so good but he's way out of line I think he's hooked yeah he's kicking Yes, that's right. Um, POV Pool will be streaming too. Wow. You're just crazy, man. Efren, you crazy. You crazy guy. How do you do that? Yes, we will have some three cushion events coming up. February and March, we're doing a Nationals Qualifier at the Elks Lodge in Burbank. February 26th, 27th, 28th, or I think a two-day event. And then we're doing the Three Cushion Nationals from Million Dollar Billiards in North Hollywood, March 16th through 21st. Now what's even more exciting is not just that Jamal played a damn good shot. Great hit. What's even more exciting is that POV Pool will be streaming two events simultaneously from different locations in the country. Two channels. POV Pool on YouTube will be streaming the Three Cushion Nationals and POV Pool on Ustream will be streaming the Andy Mercer. It's getting close, guys. And Efren, Efren wants to go home. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So. Wow. Efren Reyes, man. He is the magician. Oh, yep, see? He made the cue ball disappear. <laughs> Make it happen, son. Time to lay out a nice little pattern. Mm. Mark Barber thinks that me and Yamal would be a good match. Yeah, I like that. Ouch. Oh. So that'll be option to Efren. Yeah, you got the fat guy. 
Maybe some other time. <laughs> okay. Happy to Okay. This is a fun game. It is. Grab the mic. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, so. Yes. Yeah. That's true. We got a we got an admirer in the room. You know. I mean, this is just such a beautiful game. It's tough getting into matches like this with world champions. It's very humbling. But the thing about pool is no matter how good or how bad you are, and I've said this before, I'll say it again because it's so true. Whee! I've said this before, I'll say it again. You'll always find somebody that you can beat, and you'll always find somebody that's going to beat you. Buying the, oh, it came up a little short. But, uh, you know, Yamal could play a very good safety here. You got to cut this nine. Very thin. Good speed. It's not going to get there. He's going to get above the 10 and not below the 10. If you're busy purchasing the pay-per-view of the AccuStats, do me a solid. Send me a little donation while you're at it. I got <laughs> I want to be able to afford the uh, <laughs> the AccuStats, man. Effie on the hill. 45 minutes into this match, and Effie is on the hill. The question really is will Yamo flip the coin? I don't think I would. I mean, it's just... Unless you feel like you need to warm up. I mean, I kept flipping the coin with Efren. And I spent $300 playing him, 100 a set. You know what? To me, it was worth it. It was the best 20 minutes of my life. <laughs> You know, boy, we got sweaters in the room. We got sweaters in the room. We got t shirts and polos, too. <laughs> and we do have an action match coming up later on between Melinda Wang and Dante. Whether I'm streaming it is 
another thing entirely. But they're playing race to 16, even, for $600. And that match is going to be going on. Okay, where's the, where's the cue ball going? Look at this bump shape. Nice shot. <laughs> I'll play this guy even. Actually, I've, I've played him. I've played him in tournament several times. Oh, thank you, Mark151, for the compliment. What a hit, and he makes it. <laughs> what a great shot. He's torturing this young man. Well, a reprieve. needs to calm down. I know he plays much better than this. But this is what Efren does to people. This is what he does. It's it's called the Efren factor. It's nerves, yeah. Nerves and confidence all come tumbling down. Okay. A recovered position. This is just another day in Efren's life. For him, this is like, yeah, total dream, playing his idol. Woo, all right, here we go. 8-1, and here comes the six pack. Young Jamal, he's just got to keep it together and, you know, warm up a little bit. You know, I'd actually be a little disappointed if he decides to walk away after the first set because, you know, playing Efren, you got to get into the balls a little bit. You got to play a couple of sets with him and start to f really feel your own game. 
This young guy doesn't even have a brake cue of his own. He's using a house cue to brake with. Poor guy, I wish I'd have known. I, I'd have lent him my brake cue. Yeah, he's young. He's about 26 years old. Okay, so this is a chance for Efren to close out this set here. So it's it's nine to two. It's eight to two. It's race to nine. So Efren's on the hill. A little bit close to his work here. This shouldn't be too tough for him. Yeah, he he hit it too thick. He was he was basically trying to do too much. He's trying to hold the cue ball up for the side pocket. So th this is a tough shot. Especially, I mean, from here on in, every t every shot's going to be tough because of the pressure of losing one game. Yeah, I, you know what? B yeah, based on where you are in the game. That was an excellent call to play that shot because he doesn't need this kind of pressure right now. He needs to settle into a nice open table, easy shots, nice pattern, nice layout. Nice kick. The problem with Efren is, is that on the first open shot he has, he's going to lay it down. I don't think from here he's got much. He's going to play a safety. Mm. I think that shot kind of backfired on him. Hey. So if you see here, now, with effort on the hill, now Yamal is starting to feel good. He's starting to feel warmed up. And this is the one great thing about being in action with someone. If you lose a set, you can flip the coin. You can flip the coin. And you can ask yourself, you know, you can ask yourself, Ralph, how do you feel? You feel like you didn't play your best game in the last set? You feel like your best game is coming? Flip that coin, baby. Woo! Woo! What a shot! <laughs> oh, there it is. Race to nine, a 9-2 nine set. That's it? We're done? Okay, a one-set match. So, congrats to Efren. Please tell me we're going to have something else after this. Please. <laughs> want to thank our sponsors, KamuiTips.com. I want to thank Checkio. Please check out us.checkio.com. Tiger Products. 
at tigerproducts.com. Marty Carey's Jump Q at martycarey'sjumpq.com. Tony Russell Q's at russellcustomqs.com. And Joey Chin and JC Custom Q's. Uh, he does not have a website, but you can email or phone him. Thanks a lot to all these guys. Keep loving pool. We are not going anywhere right now. We might have something else right after this. Let's see what we can uh, drum up. All right. Be right back. Forget about him being on the other side. He was a lot better because everybody was saying how much, how good of a shooter he was. It's good in this play. No, no, you didn't shoot your game. Yeah, I didn't play my game. You can play boosting this. It was a fun play. I'm good, thank you.